Hey guys, welcome back to our series on creating star patterns in Python. In the last video, we had covered the left half pyramid and in today's video, we're going to cover the downward left half pyramid. So to build on top of what we did the last time, we had created a simple nested for loop to create a left half pyramid. And if I print this, you'll see what our left half pyramid looks like. Some conclusions that we established the last time were that the outer loop was responsible for our row number and our inner loop was responsible for the column number. The number of stars being printed at each row are simply being determined by my inner loop, whereas my outer loop is only and only responsible for the number of times my rows are being printed. So to compare it with what we want now, we want the same number of rows but we want a decreasing number of columns to be printed. So to reach there, let's again start by building a square like we did the last time. And that should give us a square. The previous time we wanted the value of our inner loop to increase with every row so with every increase in value of i we wanted the value for the inner loop to also increase this time we want our inner value to decrease and start off from the highest value of whatever value of n we've chosen so to do that we simply need to reduce the number of times our inner loop is working and this can simply be done by adding a limit to where my second loop is starting from so if i want my code to start from zero i'll simply write range five but if i want my range to start from one i can write one comma five and if i want my loop to start from three i can write three so for every time that my inner loop is running i want my value to start from exactly where the value of my outer loop has reached so we can simply add the value of i as an interval and that should limit the number of times my j loop is running for every row value. That's it. That is what we wanted. And that we've gotten simply by making one single change in the value of range in our inner loop. So the two patterns that we looked into today are building blocks for creating more complex patterns in Python. Both of them combined can be used to create several other patterns like maybe right hand triangle a downward right hand triangle a pyramid or a diamond or a downward hill or downward pyramid so all of these we're going to cover up in our upcoming videos so stay tuned and i hope this video helped